Hello Year 5 and 6, so today I'm going to be reading this book called The Marmots and it's by Helen Ward and Mark Crassel. Um, so I'll read you the blurb on the back first. So there was once only the sound of bees and the wind in the wiry grass, the low murmuring of moles in the cool dark earth. Oh, it it's got some fantastic illustrations too. So let's start. There was once only the sound of bees and the wind in the wiry grass, the low murmuring of moles in the cool dark earth, and the sound of birds in the high blue sky. It touched and warmed the hearts of those few who paused and cared to listen. Then one day others came and the sound of bees was lost. They scraped away the wiry grass, the low murmuring of moles went unheard. Tall buildings scratched the sky where the birds once sang. Every day there were more of them making more noise, listening less. Until there was so much noise, no one could hear themselves think. So they stopped thinking. But in a place high above, the fiery of the streets, the fury of the streets, sorry, it's quite difficult to read here, five and six, where the wind carried the a wailing roar of the traffic, someone nurtured a little piece of wilderness. Ooh. As he watched from his window, his wishes drifted over the city and found the hope his heart longed for growing among the dark towers. It was time. High above those roaring streets, he took his small piece of wilderness to a safer place. Where he left, all that was important to him behind. A final fragment of the wild was carefully collected in. He hurried home. Far below the crowded streets and empty heads of the others, fell quiet and still, but their few warmed hearts watched as their hopes and wishes took to the air like new seeds upon the wind. And in that endless pause, there came the sound of bees. Ooh. There was once more the sound of the wind in the wiry grass and the song of birds in the high blue sky the beginning. Wow, what a really interesting box. We created its own piece of wilderness on top of a really high building. Ooh, the marmots, the end. Over and out, Miss Davis.